Sharia Shadab, animator. I was born in Sydney and I grew up in Sydney for a little while and then when my parents split, I, my mom and I moved to Albury Wodonga and uh, my dad actually moved to the US so I've spent some time there. My dad actually moved to Alabama so I grew up partially here in rural Australia, partially in the deep south in America and partially in Iran. Um, so I, yeah, I moved around a lot. I actually figured out that I moved around before, before I was 18 years old. Uh, my mom and I lived in 37 different houses. We had 37 different addresses and I went to 14 different schools. So I'm really good at, I'm really good at being the new kid. So I, I first started animating in 2007 after I was at art school in Sydney at Kofa and I discovered Martha Colburn and William Kentridge and their work absolutely blew me away. It was breathtaking. And I saw some early, actually I saw some early animation by a guy called Alexiev. He was a Russian guy in the um, early, last, early last century and he made the original Night on Bald Mountain you know, that um, later Disney did in, in Fantasia. And his original version is, is a thousand times better. It's much more suggestive of the, of the magic and the spirits that come out at night. And it was actually one of the first films to use like cross-exposure to cross-expose video with um, animation. I guess the artists that I'm really inspired by now are the artists that continue to do that kind of grassroots animation now. Things that are not necessarily influenced completely by you know, computer-generated you know, graphics and things like that, and things that are much more textured and analog. So I'm a really big fan of uh, Martha Colburn because she works you know, with 60 millimeter film and a lot of the paper and texture that she finds are old magazines and old paper and she, uh, there's a sort of depth to the, to the te texture that she, textures that she used and I really like that. And I try and incorporate that in my own work as best as I can. And uh, one, another thing about uh, another thing that really inspires me about Kentridge is that his work is uh, quite um, personal, and it's personally related to his um, to his environment and, and the sort of political environment that he grew up in, Johannesburg. And his work is about that. And I find that the medium is is a really great way to express these sorts of stories that are both personal and political in a broader sense. And that, that's the thing that really attracts me to Kentridge's work, I suppose, because I, I uh, went to Iran when I was a little bit younger and uh, that experience has stayed with me and that's something that keeps coming up in my work a lot. So, um, yeah, I haven't really made anything that hasn't been political. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's a big influence in my work. Um, actually, my first degree after high school was uh, performing and my first job out of university was I worked for a children's theatre company uh, touring all over Australia um, all, all over rural Australia doing educational theatre for kids so um, lots of uh, physical theatre, circus stuff, acrobatics um, all you know sending the message of uh, you know, not bullying each other don't, you know, basically don't kick the shit out of each other, don't take drugs, that kind of thing um, so yeah, I, I suppose if I wasn't doing animating, I would, I would love to be on the stage. Things that set my generation, the millennial generation, apart from other generations are perhaps that technology is actually an extension of our anatomy. You know, it's like our fingertips. You know, it's, uh, it enables us and we're sort of like cybernetic organisms in a way.